Bear Grylls, he is the real life hero, who we have seen doing activities that make us think. The things that we can't even dream of doing, are things this person really showed, through his strong mindset. But did you know this Bear Grylls wasn't always like this? He was also once weak, anxious, and depressed. You may be surprised to know, that Bear Grylls' biggest fear, is heights. But this fear of his, was no normal fear. It was a strange disease. This is called acrophobia, but the funny thing is, that after a few years, the fearsome Bear Grylls started his show by jumping from a helicopter, at a great height. Quite surprising, isn't it? He was one of the leading members of the United Kingdom's military forces. Along with that, he also had a lot of parachuting skills. In 1996 on a mission in Zambia, he jumped from a height of 16,000 feet. But that time, his parachute didn't work. Although he opened the parachute during the jump, but the parachute did not open properly in the air. Bear Grylls continued to fall at a very fast speed. In no time, he realized his parachute was no longer working. Bear Grylls struggled to fully open his parachute. But as the parachute did not open, after a while, he hit the rocks and trees and fell to the ground. He suffered a severe spinal cord injury due to the fall. He couldn't move at all, just lying on the ground moaning in great pain. He didn't give up, just hoping that his companions might come to save him. Meanwhile, his pain was getting worse and worse, and it was unbearable. Oh, so later he said, death was better than enduring that pain. After lying like this for a long time, his companions took him to a nearby hospital. After giving her back pain injection, her pain started to subside, but the doctor told him he would never be able to walk again. After hearing this, 31-year-old Bear Grylls was devastated. His x-ray report later revealed that three bones in his back had been completely crushed. He could barely move. He said in his interview that it was more painful than falling from above and that he suffered more than a year in the hospital to put the bone together. Lying in a hospital bed, he thought he might never recover. His will to live was almost dead. Yet Bear Grylls' sole purpose of survival was to travel to new places and make adventurous journeys. But this injury takes everything from him. Time passed, but instead of getting better, his body was getting worse. Seeing the situation himself, he became very negative, and slowly he started suffering from depression. Bear Grylls wondered what else he could do in the future. His dreams began to crumble. But one day while thinking, a dream came to his mind that he had been interested in since childhood, and that is climbing Mount Everest. He bravely stood up and tried to walk. By thus encouraging himself, he boosted his broken spirits. Through his will to fulfill his dream and his courage, he continued to recover quickly. If anything really helped lift him out of his depression, it was his dream. He vows that he will climb Everest when he is fit. When he tried to explain this to people, they ignored him. He began to walk normally, but his doctor told him he would never be able to join the special forces again. He had no job, but needed money to fulfill his dreams. He also talked to many companies about sponsorship, but was rejected by all the companies. Still, he kept trying. Finally, SSAFA, an organization, helped him to fulfill his dream. On May 16, 1998, 18 months after the parachute accident, he fulfilled his childhood dream. He climbed Mount Everest. This made him the youngest person in Britain to climb Mount Everest. Later he gained a lot of popularity. He was invited to give lectures in various seminars, and many documentaries were also made about him. Later Discovery Channel gave him an opportunity that helped him gain worldwide fame. After which, everyone knows him from Man vs. Wild. And this show's popularity is also amazing like its adventures.